Welcome back, MPN fan. This is your ride of the week. And I've got Jesse Serpin with me from yep. Raw Iron Choppers, who's going to talk us through this excellent panhead that we found here at Fuel Cleveland. With Can Do, you can do diagnostics with confidence. So how's it going, guys? This is a 1950 pan head. Um, all the all the chrome shiny stuff is all nickel plated. So we kind of wanted a little bit of retro look. I know you kind of said it was like somewhat modern, but also it's like old style steampunk. I built this bike 10 years ago for my dad, just for fun. And uh, he was really into deep sea diving stuff. He's not even a diver or anything. And <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's just yeah, he was, I don't know what that was, and it came out of nowhere. It wasn't like a childhood thing, you know? So that's why there's a lot of brass accents, a lot of, you know, steampunk kind of theme. That's why you see on the paint, you know, there's a lot of deep sea nautical look, and that's kind of to go with the whole, like, heavy metal flake, looks like glistening water. So he kind of says, hey, that's the theme I want to go with, and we utilize it. It's kind of neat. The bike was originally ridden by my mom and him all the way in the 70s, 80s, and then it kind of sat. He got newer Harley, you know, Cruiser, and I, I said, hey, can I just chop your bike? He's like, sure. So in that meantime, it was like kind of a boring, you know, Cleveland winter. And then it's, I just got busy. And he just sat in the corner, he's like, all right, we need to finish my bike. So we, you know, we just went a lot above and beyond. Hydraulic foot clutch, um, I'm sorry, not foot clutch, but hand clutch. Baker style, form function. Dual brake, so actually this controls front and rear. There is no rear brake, uh, no proportioning valve. It's pretty equal already. You know, motor, nothing really crazy done with it besides aesthetics. Uh, the SU carb on it, kind of just for that antique kind of look for it. Original wishbone, 50 frame, but we raked it out to about 40 degrees. And a Spartan Frameworks Chromoly uh, Springer front end. So just kind of give it that steampunk feel again, you know, kind of with that. So a lot of one-off stuff. Like these were our grips for a line we ran for a while. This here, our riser set up for Springers. We kind of ran for a limited run, so things like that. But just a real simple bike, just fun to ride, cruise. And like we live in the country, out east and uh, past here. Fun. I mean, you're just cruising 35 miles an hour, and it's a, it's a good time, you know. Well, it's definitely a head turner. Our entire staff has already been <laughs> ruling over this bike, particularly as you've already mentioned the beautiful paint that you've put on this bike, and all of these details, all this level of fit and finish. I love the little octopus yep. on the shifter. It's just got great style to it, great little details, but all surrounding the heart and soul of this 1950, <laughs> yep. you said, panhead engine. Yep. So that great Harley power. Speaking of, did you do any engine work on this? Just mild. I mean, just, you know, refresh and new heads, you know, uh, rings, things like that, but nothing like, you know, high end stuff. Because my dad's not a horsepower freak. I'm the one that wants all the built motor stuff. So he's like, I just want to mild things like that, you yeah. know? He's like, I just want to be reliable <laughs> and to run. Yeah, exactly. And then like, you know, you put out the shifter. That was one thing as we ran it through the mechanical brake linkage setup. And everyone's like, why would you take your hand off the shift? And really, if you just speed shift, it's not that much of a difference. Yeah. You know, so you just hand off throttle, shift gear, back on. It just, we just kind of wanted things kind of ass backwards. You know, <laughs> people didn't get it at the time. It was a lot before social media. So people were like, why would you do that? Now that's like a common thing. I've yeah. seen that on like six other bikes, you know, so. But it's, it's a good time. It was, a, it was a fun bike and it's neat that it's an heirloom. You know, that's the one thing is, you know, they had it before I was around and then, you know, I got to re-chop it and you had fun with it, you know? I love that. I love so. that it comes from your mom and dad yep. and then was reconfigured into a heck of a Father's Day yep. gift, it sounds <laughs> yeah. like. Holy yep. smokes. Well, thank you so much, oh, Jesse, thank you. for talking us through this beautiful 1950 no Panhead problem. Custom and it's your Ride of the Week.